Hi my dear children welcome back to your max class i hope you all learned what had taught in the previous classes today we are going to continue the chapter letter math with a new topic letter multiplication activity number 1 rani is making triangles with match sticks look here how many triangles are there in the picture there are four triangles how many matchsticks are used to make them the number of matchsticks used is equal to 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 that is equal to 12 or we can also find it by multiplying 3 into 4 that is equal to 12 now tell me how many matchsticks do we need to make 10 triangles number of matchsticks Needed to make one triangle is equal to three. Then the number of matchsticks needed to make ten triangles is equal to three into ten, that is equal to thirty matchsticks. Now, how will you write the relation between the number of triangles and number of matchsticks using letters? The number of matchsticks used is three times the number of triangles. Then we can write it as Number of matchsticks is equal to three into number of triangles. Now we can write the relation using letters as let the number of triangles be t and the number of matchsticks be m. M is equal to three into t. When we use letters instead of numbers, we don't usually write the multiplication sign. That means. we can omit the multiplication sign and simply we can write it as m is equal to 3t next question how many triangles can be made with 45 matchsticks write the relation using letters we learned that the number of matchsticks is equal to 3 into number of triangles therefore The number of triangles is equal to number of matchsticks divided by three. Then the number of triangles is equal to forty-five divided by three. That is equal to fifteen triangles. We can write the relation using letters as t is equal to m divided by three, or we can write it as t is equal to m by three. Is it clear for you? Activity number two. All children in the school bought pens from the cooperative store at five rupees each. Write in the table how much the children of various classes paid. Here, the number of children in six A, six B, and six C are given. We have to find the total amount they paid for the pen. In what all ways we can say the relation between? the number of children and the amount they paid write them using letters let's find out the total amount total amount is equal to number of children into cost of a pen that is equal to number of children into 5 it is given in the question that the number of children in 6a is equal to 34 then the total amount Paid by six a is equal to thirty four into five, that is equal to one hundred seventy rupees. Next, in six b, the number of children is equal to thirty two. Then the total amount paid by them is equal to thirty two into five, that is equal to one hundred sixty rupees. Then in six c, the number of children is equal to thirty six. And the total amount paid by them is equal to thirty-six into five, that is equal to one hundred eighty rupees. Now we can write the relation as total amount is equal to number of children into five. Then number of children is equal to total amount divided by five. Then total amount. Divided by number of children is equal to five. Here, five being the cost of a pen. Now, 
We can write the relation using letters as let the number of children be n and the total amount be t. Then first relation t is equal to 5 into n or t is equal to 5n. Then second relation n is equal to t divided by 5 or n is equal to t by 5. Third relation t divided by n is equal to 5 or t by n is equal to 5. Is it clear for you? Here is a homework activity for you. Do it well. That's all for today children. We shall continue our class on the next day. Okay. Thank you.